HS2, um, a lot of people probably profiteering out of it, especially especially there's a lot of compulsory purchasing involved with land. It's sort of midway, so there'll be things dangling if we just sort of scrap it. Yeah. Do you think it's time to sort of look at it and look to scrap? Do you know, when I was a radio presenter for the BBC, broadcasting uh, in the... He, he did, he did wait to the second hour. Yeah, he did Bro wait to the second hour. Broadcasting hour across the Midlands. <laughs> my my phone in hotlines were full of people moaning quite understandably that their family homes, they a compulsory purchase. They'd lived in this beautiful rural part of mm. Warwickshire and Staffordshire and the government was forcing them out of these treasured homes where people, generations of families had been born there, had been passed away there. Lovely stories and they'd been forced to sell their properties. At the moment, the M42 North mm. is being closed for periods of time whilst they have these massive bridges that are built across the, the three lanes of, of traffic. And I read today that by not extending it, mm. the government will, will save £50 billion. Pounds. And I, my heart goes out to all of these people. They must be living in a state of purgatory, of complete confusion. My answer to your question, mm. my direct answer, Nana, is that I believe they should stop at Birmingham and save £50 billion. Pounds. I think that in, in the current climate where people can work remotely, we spoke right. about right. Zoom, didn't right. we, in the first hour. Why is someone going to get on the clankety from <laughs> Manchester to the capital and shave 18 minutes off their journey? I just don't understand. I don't get it.